Hello everyone, my name is Sarab and I own www.sharepointtest.com. Today during this webinar we will be talking about the new features in SharePoint 2013. To be specific we will be covering top 7 features in brief and uh, I will be talking about those features and we'll just try to align each and every feature with the ROI and the savings and the requirements to have SharePoint implemented in any organization. So let's begin. I will take just a couple of minutes and we'll give you a quick walkthrough about my profile. I have been delivering on enterprise content management system for over 10 years by now and uh, I have learned and started delivering on SharePoint when I got first hired by Microsoft. I have uh, delivered uh, for some high value dollar projects for some pharmaceutical industries in the US and some IT industries in Europe and uh, mainly I've been delivering on the SharePoint and the related set of technologies. Okay, so we will be talking about these top features of SharePoint 2013. We will talk a little about the new social features. We will also talk about cloud-based app model which is really a good hit at the moment. We will also talk about minimal download strategy known as MDS. Themes, then we will talk about search. To be specific it will be fast search. We will be talking about collaboration video and rich media as well. Well, SharePoint 2013 introduces community sites and my sites, which provide a social interface for internal business collaboration, but are also designed to leverage the security and other business and enterprise management feature of SharePoint. This is a natural extension of collaboration among work groups and partners. Leveraging the social features in SharePoint 2013 can give organizations ample control over social business interaction while still protecting content and intellectual property, a win-win for both social employees and the decision makers. If you look at it, I have already circled the top uh, social features in SharePoint 2013, compliance, documents, cloud, social, work management, interoperability, and mobile happens to be the top most important features in the collaboration area. In the mobile, we can just access uh, SharePoint environment using SkyDrive on cloud anywhere we want, irrespective of the fact if we are online or if we are trying to access the content and make some changes to it on an offline mode. It enables the organization with the full work management, with full spectrum project management, unified tasks, and the site-specific mailboxes as well. It also enables the work culture with the features like compliance. So you need not worry about policy discovery across uh, SharePoint Exchange or Link. It can be interlinked, it can be in sync as well, more importantly. As you all uh, would know, like now we have Yammer as well in SharePoint 2013. It comes in like along with it. So this is something which is an added advantage on top of it. And having the news feeds, follows, likes, communities on top of Yammer and SharePoint own news feed category is just an amazing feature which I'm sure you will love to enjoy. The overall cloud is also amazing like uh, you have features like office 365 you can just have your own site updated on top of sharepoint like just like the way i have my own site www.sharepointtoys.com it is running on sharepoint online so these are a few things which you can leverage that too at a very nominal cost and can have immense rois let's move to the next point Well, uh, cloud-based app model is an excellent initiative by Microsoft. Well, this is the actual way forward. This is something which is very similar to what we have called App Store for our iPhones or iOS and uh, the Google Market Stores for our Android phones. This is something very similar to that. You have a cloud-based app model. You go over there, just browse for a site uh, or uh, the application with some keywords. You get to see some results. Some will be paid. Some will. Some are available for free or some are available under beta or trial versions you can test them up by just clicking on it installing it and then just start using it it's as simple as just having your own application downloaded on your Android or on your iOS enabled iPads or iPhone 
Well, Microsoft will host and regulate a SharePoint store where developers around the world will be able to publish and sell their custom apps for SharePoint. So if you are a developer, so this is a great opportunity. You can just go ahead and start developing something which you feel could be very helpful and can be commonly used all across the globe. Just build it, test it, upload it, and let the people start using it. And it could be a very good revenue generation model and a continuous revenue generation model, more importantly. The SharePoint store will handle the end-to-end -end acquisition experience from discovery to purchase and updates, which is an awesome thing. So company developed and IT acquired apps can also be deployed to an organization's internal apps catalog which means like you can have your own internal uh, app store where if you have developed some applications which are specific to your own organization can be hosted on that internal app catalog people internally in the organization can just browse through those uh, catalog can browse through the applications residing under that catalog download install and start using it on their own side so it, it's like that you are enabling the reusability of the component you just have to invest once and then the entire organization can be very well benefited out of it okay so minimal download strategy is a term that probably won't ring any bell at the moment well I know that it's a new framework Microsoft in, has included in the SharePoint 2013 it's mentioned very briefly in the API but I think it's quite a big deal so what is it? Well, MDS allows websites to take much less bandwidth than the traditional technologies. It's a technology that allows website to only send the changed part of the page related to the previous page to the client. If you assume that a website has a header for a menu, a right column and some content and navigation to another page only changes the content part, then MDS will take care that only the content will be transferred from the server to the client. Well, this way not only the bandwidth is used more efficiently, but the pages will be more responsive and will load faster. Hence, an enhanced and a very good seamless user experience. Themes. Well, it has always been quite a painful area for the branding consultants or designers on SharePoint. However, now when the uh, feature of themes has, uh, has totally improvised, so there is a lot more to offer. In a nutshell, there are two types of themes, the pre-installed ones and the custom ones. So let me just first talk about the pre-installed themes. The theming experience lets the users customize the pre-installed theme by changing the colors, fonts, layouts, or background image. You do not have to create custom themes unless you want additional font schemes or color palettes. And when a pre-installed theme is modified, a new theme named current is created automatically after the theme changes are applied. There is only one current theme for a site. SharePoint 2013 does not give the user to way, uh, user way to save themes from the user interface. If you modify a pre-installed theme, apply the changes and then modify a second pre-installed theme, the second pre-installed theme becomes the current theme when the settings are applied. So to save a modified theme, you can create a list item in the composed looks like that contains the same master page, color palette, font scheme, and background image URLs of the modified theme. So this, this if you look at it, it is something which eases out a lot of pain and a lot of uh, work for the branding consultants and the designers. So let's talk a little about the custom themes as well. You can create custom themes by creating additional color palettes and font schemes and uploading them to the theme gallery. The new color palettes and font schemes are then available to you in the theming experience or when you want to apply a theme programmatically. Similarly, if you want to have additional site layouts to choose from, you can upload additional master pages and corresponding preview files to the master page gallery. You can create new designs by creating new list items in the Compose Looks list. Create a list item and specify the master page, color palette, uh, font scheme, and background image for the new design. Plus, there are new features like Design Manager, Try It Out, etc. I'm sure these features will enable the designers pretty well and the desired themes look and feel can be attained with an ease. Search. 
another important area in SharePoint 2013. Well, search functionality in SharePoint 2013 includes several enhancements, custom content processing with the content enrichment, web services, and a new framework for presenting search result types. Additionally, there have been significant enhancement made to the keyword query language KQL, commonly known. So, uh, well, in the search there are quite a few new things as well for example like the content search web part uh, this is very new uh, in SharePoint 2013 this web part is introduced in SharePoint 2013 the latest version that uses various styling options to display dynamic content on SharePoint pages and how the content uh, search web part actually works is like it displays search results in a way that you can easily format each content search web pod is associated with a search query and shows the results for that search query as well. You can use display templates to search uh, and change how search results appear on the page. Display templates are snippets of HTML and JavaScript that render the information returned by SharePoint. The information to be displayed gets inserted into the page in JSON format. So the question is when to use the content search web part or the content query web part uh, as a matter of fact the this web part can return any content from the search index use it your SharePoint 2013 sites when you are connecting to a search service and want to return index search results in your pages so overall if you look at it it also enables the organization with the fast search because fast comes in pre-bundled with SharePoint 2013 you don't really need to pay for additional licenses for having fast in place so the better and enhanced interface and ranking model with content search better content query web part as I've just talked about and the improved refinement all these things including fast are the ones which are enabling the new search feature in SharePoint 2013 and this is one feature which is which is just awesome like it is it is helping many organization in different different ways collaboration many people think like this is the only feature for which we have been using SharePoint and there hasn't been many improvements since 2007 but this is incorrect there are other equally important features and there has been significant improvement in the newer version of SharePoint 2013 share organize discover build and manage cost these are a few things which are enabling the collaboration feature which eventually benefits the entire organization where SharePoint is enabled so under share say put social to work it enables you to share ideas discover answers and keep track of what your colleagues are working with new social features throughout SharePoint share your stuff publish content to uh, SharePoint from any office application and share with people inside and outside your organization in a few simple clicks isn't that amazing take SharePoint on the go like share documents update your activity feed and keep in touch with your colleagues from mobile phone or tablet organize keep projects on track organize all your projects and tasks to get uh, visibility into upcoming deliverables across SharePoint Outlook and Microsoft project everything works in sync keep your uh, team connected set up a new team site in a minute track meeting notes and bring together all your teams email and documents in one place in a centralized repository store and sync your documents sync your content in SharePoint to your desktop with SkyDrive Pro which is an amazing feature which comes in bundled with SharePoint so docs are just a mouse click away even if you are offline um, we have discover uh, find experts you never knew even existed in your organization connect with people across your organization and easily discover interest past projects and documents they have worked upon Discover insights and answer. Turn raw data into gorgeous interactive reports with Excel 2013 and publish to SharePoint to share insights with the people you work with. Find what you're looking for, customize and narrow your search to deliver more relevant results and get recommendation on people and documents to follow. Build. Build apps in the cloud. Build apps on common web technologies like JavaScript, HTML, etc. with the new cloud app model for SharePoint. Publish app. Further, you can make money out of it as well.
manage manages costs reduces your infrastructure cost and uh, extend the boundaries of sharing by running SharePoint in the cloud with Office 365 manage risk new archiving e-discovery and case management capability extend across SharePoint exchange and link because everything works in sync and this new feature called e-sync which has recently been introduced in SharePoint can enable the organization to conduct plenty of internal audits so this is one feature which is really uh, quite a hit in the areas uh, like banking and law firms well at the end manage your time spend more time delivering innovation and less time managing infrastructure with advances in SharePoint scale performance and management capabilities okay considering that Silverlight is now gone while these powerful features are easy to utilize it is clear that to be truly effective in an enterprise environment providing rich media in SharePoint 2013 should be treated as a service offered by IT this uh, service will likely include considerable customization of master page and other pages to support the presentation layer and optimize usability an example is providing uh, channels for users to access large amount of videos and rich medias these are actually publishing pages IT organizations will absolutely need to develop a strategy uh, services based templates and training to truly use these new features effectively so videos videos pages uh, previews uh, and the HTML5 content everything that resides on a presentation layer um, has a new and improvised set of capabilities and features associated with it in SharePoint 2013 considering the part that we often need to showcase the document pictures in a different way we tend to create dedicated CSS or the designing elements but do we really need to do that in 2013 the answer is no things are already created and the by default look and feel is so appealing like if you will just start using it I'm sure like you will have no reasons to further rebrand it and even if you would then the rebranding elements would just reside in terms of, of fonts colors and sizes other than that most of the things are already pre bundled so you must give it a try the best part is like everything is in the HTML5 and uh, it's amazing so you must give it a try and I'm sure you will not be disappointed alright so during the session we talked about many different features of SharePoint 2013 which are new and uh, really uh, penetrating the enterprise content management market pretty hard and uh, SharePoint is doing pretty good as a matter of fact right now it's under the magic quadrant of Gartner things are going pretty good you should give it a try for your organization the overall evaluation of the TCO the total cost of operation and the ROIs uh, for the implementation of SharePoint will be discussed in the webinars to come and uh, to support this webinar I have created a white paper as well feel free to download it from my website SharePointTest.com and if you have any questions, any queries, feel free to reach out to me. I am available on sd at SharePointTest.com and uh, it was great. Thanks and uh, have a great day ahead guys. Take care.